Now you guys are in for a treat. Put your hands together for Mr. Craig Phillips. Turn it out. What's up, man? Yeah. I don't know if you guys could tell by my appearance, but I've done some drugs in my lifetime. <laughs> I sold weed for 13 years of my life. It was mainly to my father. <laughs> He's crazy. But I grew up with an alcoholic father and it's, it's, it's scary because you never know what you're gonna get in trouble for. And like I was a little kid and I wet the bed and I was like, Daddy, Daddy, I peed the bed. He's like, oh, don't worry, son, I do too. <laughs> it's a dark joke. <laughs> But I'm sober now, everybody. I'm 167 days sober today. Give this shit up. <laughs> Not easy. Um, but the weird thing about being sober is I still look like this, you know? <laughs> and I still sound like this. <laughs> I did too much. <laughs> but now that I'm sober, I find it really hard hitting on women. Like I work at Trader Joe's and there was this cute girl coming through my line and she was purchasing milk chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel nougats. <laughs> at 3.29 they're fucking delicious guys. <laughs> but she held them up and she's like, you know what I'll be doing later tonight. I was like, what, getting diarrhea? <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Do you guys know why Trader Joe's is number one in customer service? Because they don't drug test everybody. <laughs> That's a joke and a fact right there. <laughs> Look at this guy, he works there. <laughs> oh shit. You ever go in there and you get that overexcited cashier that's more excited about your food than you are? Because <laughs> it's me, man. <laughs> I'll be ringing you up, I'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> Chocolate covered s'mores. <laughs> Heat those in the microwave for like four to six seconds. <laughs> You're fucking heavenly, bro. <laughs> I work in West Hollywood and I have this half handsome, half homeless look on my life. And I'm straight, so it's not good, people. But sometimes I'll be ringing up a gay dude and he hits on me, I'm like, whoa, bro. And then sometimes he's clean shaven and he smells like honey mango. <laughs> and he makes me blush. <laughs> I wish that joke wasn't true. I gotta transfer me. <laughs> but it's Hollywood, so crazy stuff happens all the time, and I just had to go to the bathroom to take a pee pee. And there was this homeless dude, and he's washing his booty in the sink. And he was smoking a cigarette. And I, I didn't know what to do, so I looked the bum right in his eye, and I was like, Sir, you can't smoke in here. <laughs> Then I gave him some milk chocolate covered peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Cause I'm a good person. <laughs> no, I kicked him out. <laughs> but at a grocery store, people can ask you ridiculous, stupid questions. Like this lady came up to me. She's like, Craig, which dog treats taste better? <laughs> Is it the chicken and rice? Is it the beef and liver? I was like, how the fuck does this lady know I ate both those dog treats? It's the chicken and rice. It's organic. You heat it up in the microwave for like four or six seconds. It's fucking heavenly. I was actually a licensed realtor at one point in my life. <laughs> I sold one house. It was my mother's. I made $5,000 and I bought a pound of marijuana. 
and a record player. Then I just smoke weed and listen to music till my license expired. And then I got into stand up. And that's my life story. I find it weird how in life a kid you picked on in high school you could be jealous of later in life. Like there was that one tippy toe kid, he walked on his tippy toes. He had the nice calves and the nice ass. You guys remember that guy? Maybe just me? I don't know. Well, I picked on that fucking kid. He had a weakness. I'm American. That's what we do, right? But later in life, I was in a situation where I wished I was this kid. I was having sex with my ex-girlfriend on top of a washer and dryer, and I had to go on my tippy toes to perform. And I couldn't fucking do it, people. I couldn't do it. And I couldn't help but think that the tippy toe kid would be slaying this fucking pussy. <laughs> and my tiny little white calves can't handle this shit. tell you to return your carts people please I have to get that. that is no fun the small white calves reminded me you guys ever get those farts that sound like they're asking you a question you're like did you hear that <laughs> yeah you did don't do drugs <laughs> oh man my sisters, I have two older sisters, and they played uh, mean, horrible pranks on me my whole life. My sisters super glued my lips together twice. <laughs> once when I was five, and once three weeks ago. <laughs> the sneaky devils, man. But my sister Nicole, she mailed me Madonna's toenails. Yeah, they weren't Madonna's, they are my sister Nicole's toenails. That's fucked up. I love those toenails. I cherished them and chewed on them for years, everybody. You heat them up in the microwave for like four, six seconds. You're fucking heavenly. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you.